I'm Kelly Hill, executive editor of RCR Wireless News, here on the show floor at Mobile World Congress Las Vegas 2023 with Sanjay Kumar, who is VP of Marketing and Product Development for Arcus. Sanjay, how are you? Doing very well, thank you, Kelly. Great. Thanks for joining us and thanks for having me. It's really good to be here. Um, so tell us a little bit about Arcus, who you folks are, what you do, and sort of where you sit in the ecosystem. Great, thanks for that question. So, Arcus is a programmable network infrastructure vendor. We provide a completely virtualized networking platform for network operators, enterprises, hyperscale vendors. And what we do is we essentially abstract the hardware so you can deliver it on any kind of form factor. You can deliver it on white box switches and routers. You can deliver it on edge devices, compute resources. You could deliver it uh, you know, on smart NICs, you could deliver it in the cloud, you can deliver it on-prem, you can deliver it at the edge. So that sort of gives customers a very sort of a flexible platform uh, that enables a variety of use cases. And so we here at uh, MWC uh, are really showcasing our solutions that sort of drive innovation for network operators. Okay, so one of the hot topics here at the show, a lot of attention is going to AI and ML. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about how Arcus is strategically, can you tell us a little bit about how Arcus is strategically approaching AI ML? Yeah. You know, maybe some of how that ties into some of the announcements that you've been making? Yeah, absolutely, that's a great question. So. With AI ML, uh, essentially what we're doing is we're talking about how we are delivering innovation for network operators so that they can actually realize the benefits of both AI and 5G technologies together, uh, being very powerful te technology trends, but something that requires a, a flexible and transformative approach to networking. The legacy vendors are simply not geared up to be able to address this. So, we come in really with this uh, sort of flexible platform. We've just made an announcement uh, for a platform of ours called Ace AI. That's Arcus Connected Edge for the AI um, sort of paradigm. And we believe that the world of AI is going to be essentially distributed. Right? So it's not just going to be uh, concentrated in the hyperscale environments, but it's going to be distributed all across the edge, the core, as well as the multi-cloud environments. And the reason for that is because you want to be able to pool resources wherever they're available, run your workloads where you want to, and at the same time, be able to deliver applications, for example, at the edge, uh, wherever you may need to. Right. So with this distributed nature of AI, essentially what you need is a, number one, a network fabric that allows you to seamlessly tie all these resources together and allow you to, with ease, access these workloads, wherever they may be, deliver the applications where they need to go, uh, and at the same time, uh, get uh, sort of have a unified control plane that gives you an end-to-end, -end simple, comprehensive kind of a network, right? So that's, that's the number one uh, sort of requirement of your next generation networks for AI and ML. The second thing is uh, really that the, we need to be able to take a look at how the data center needs to evolve and the networking needs to evolve to be able to address this. So uh, for the data center, we have two architectures. We've got your traditional IP class architecture for top of rack, leaf and spine switching, um, as well as we've got a virtualized distributed architecture. Between these two, we're able to provide high performance, lossless connectivity for GPUs and GPU clusters. The aim really is making sure that these GPUs have the highest possible performance uh, to be able to deliver for these training models, and at the same time, make sure that it's lossless uh, and with low latency that you can reduce the job completion time. So that's how we address the uh, data center connectivity. Uh, another aspect is uh, how do you bring all of these elements together and that's where we address that with our solution again by giving you a network wide fabric that ties in all of these uh, workloads wherever they may reside. So that's with, uh, a, a, that, that's with our network fabric. And then the third thing to think about is how do you bring 5G and help network operators really monetize 5G uh, in order to be able to make use uh, or, or be able to, uh, in fact, realize the potential of AI ML today, 
right? And for network operators, 5G uh, is, is an investment, massive investment, but the monetization of that is really not going to come only from the mobile subscribers. So, how do you start delivering new applications on top of your 5G network? Uh, and we do that by automating network slicing. The current 5G solutions today are, again, they, they make it fairly inflexible, they make it hard to scale the network slicing, and that means that it's going to limit the amount of innovation. So, we've introduced a technology, we collaborated with SoftBank Mobile to introduce a technology called SRV6 Mobile User Plane. This essentially, very simply speaking, automates the delivery and orchestrates the delivery of network slicing, uh, makes it much more scalable, and reduces the cost of ownership. So now, operators can actually use this 5G network to be able to deliver these high bandwidth, low latency applications to the edge, which is really what the promise of 5G is all about, and be able to monetize that uh, for uh, these distributed AI type of applications. And last but not least, we have a solution called ArcIQ that ties all this together with network visibility you know, from an end-to-end -end perspective with predictive analytics. So that in a nutshell is our ACE AI platform that we've just announced. Okay, all right, well thank you for that insight into the strategy here. So you mentioned uh, network slicing. There's been a lot of announcements on, on that actually here at the show as well. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if there are other announcements that Arcus has made. You guys have had a lot of news in the past couple of days. Yeah. If there are other ones that you wanted to highlight. Absolutely. So, uh, one key announcement that we've made, we made several announcements. One key announcement we made uh, earlier today was a collaboration with NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. So the idea is really to take data center networking to the next level and deliver very high performance networking, especially for security-based applications. So what we've done is, with NVIDIA's uh, Bluefield DPU Smart NIC. Uh, what we've done is, that's an accelerated compute resource essentially. What we've done is we've collaborated with them to offload IPsec traffic and deliver 20x the performance as compared to a non-Smart NIC type of a deployment. So with this, you know, within data center networking, we can deliver high performance for secure applications, whether it's for AI ML or for any kind of thing. So that's one key announcement we've made. Another announcement uh, I'm proud to uh, mention is we've collaborated with Red Hat, and this is uh, certification with OpenShift, and this essentially delivers for network operators a multi-cloud networking solution combined with uh, you know, the underlying infrastructure from Red Hat uh, for their telco cloud or for the telco core for that matter. So that's, that's another key announcement. And the third announcement that we've made is a collaboration with Intel, and now again with Intel on their Phantom Lake processes, uh, processor platform. We've uh, run uh, a whole a bunch, we've done some POCs with them uh, to deliver again blazing performance on their processors for multi-cloud connectivity, again from the edge to multi-cloud environments. So those are some of the announcements we've made, Kelly. Okay, busy show, busy show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well thank you Sanjay so much for the time today. Appreciate the insights and uh, the perspective. Thank you so much, Kelly, for dropping by. Thank you.